Live again in Orlando, Florida. Mark Mitchell currently in third place and clearly on the bubble right now. Will he or won't he make the Olympic team? He probably won't know for a half hour or so. And back on the ice, we join in progress the free skating performance of Michael Chack, fifth after the original program. He would have to finish first or second in this phase of the competition to wind up in the top three, and that's not likely. Well, he won't because he's been leaving out his content. Instead of doing triples, he's been doubling all the way through. He's 20 years old from Brick Township, New Jersey, fifth in last year's Nationals in Minneapolis. If he can pull out some triples at this point of the program, we'll see what this is right here. Uh, that was supposed to have been a triple, but it even ended up being a single. You just can't do that in this level of competition. One very good hand position on that. today's competition. The order, by the way, is through a blind draw. We saw Wiley first, we saw Bowman second, and right now they are one-two with Christopher on top and Wiley second. Completing his performance, you saw Mitchell, you saw Christopher Bowman, and we'll be back to wrap it up with the results when we come back. Michael Chack's scores for technical merit range from 4.8 through 5.3, and for artistic impression, they ranged from 4.8 through 5.3. He finished seventh overall. Now a reminder, tonight at 9 Eastern and Pacific, 8 Central, we will determine the women's champion and the probable Olympic team. Christy Yamaguchi, Tanya Harding, Nancy Kerrigan are 1, 2, 3 coming in. The standings, Yamaguchi on top, Kerrigan second, last year's champion Harding third, Tisha Walker fourth, Lisa Irvin fifth. We will see all of them live tonight from Orlando. Meanwhile, the final standings now for the men. Normally, the top three would go to the Olympics, but we have Bowman first. Clearly, he will go to Alberville. You have Wiley second. Clearly, he will go to Alberville. But will Mark Mitchell go there, who finished third, or will the committee send Todd Eldridge? Last year's champion and the champion from 1990 who is in a hotel across the street watching this telecast live. His fate to be determined probably within the next 30 minutes by a 41-person international committee of the U.S. Figure Skating Association. Scott Davis is, uh, finishes fourth and so on down the line at the U.S. Figure Skating Championships. All right, let's get another word from Christopher Bowman with Julie Moran. Julie? Christopher, after the 88 Olympics, you won the national championship in 89. A lot of people felt like you didn't live up to your potential. Well, you're back. You're the national champion. What are your plans for Albertville? Uh, <clears throat> even tonight, I really feel, felt like I didn't live up to my potential. I had the triple axel out. It was something I really wanted to do. That was a decision between my coach and myself. Last year, uh, the battle of Eldridge and myself was really down to the triple axel, and I lost the title last year to him. Really, I want to peak at the Olympic Games. This was, as I said, just a stepping stone 
gateway to the Olympics, and uh, was a challenge I met head on, and I'm on to Albertville. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Mark, this is a tough time for you. It's a waiting game now. Do you feel like you skated well enough to make this team? Um, I feel like I skated well today, not my best, but over the past two years, I think I've skated well enough, and I think my past performances prove that I'm worthy of being on the team. So now I just have to wait some more. What do you think is going to happen? I don't know. Once again, it's out of my hands. The judges decided my fate today, and now the committee will decide my fate for three weeks from now. Thank you. Paul, you really had to pull out all the stops tonight. You had to make up a lot of ground. How did you do it? Well, I just wanted to focus on every jump at uh, each one at the time, and I think, um, you know, I have room for improvement on my triple axles, but I was happy just to be pushing through all the way through the program, landing everything in the end. Congratulations to all of you. Back to you, Al. All right, thank you, Julie. So, uh... The saga continues as they get ready for the award ceremony here in Orlando. What is your feeling, Dick? What do you think is going on?